All right, we've lost the roll, so that's not the greatest for us, but not, not awful either. Let's wish our opponent good luck, as you should always do. Um, hopefully we draw green. We can put a Feral Invocation on this guy, maybe. I don't know if he, that's even a good plan. Um, we're going to draw a card every turn of the game, so this hand gets better. Right now our game plan is just to run that guy out, and for now I am fine with that plan. Let's not take a mulligan. Um, yeah, I mean, with any luck, this guy just gains us a bunch of life. Or even more life. Why wouldn't it? Okay. And we hit our forest. It's a good sign. We can potentially trick one of their guys out. Um, assuming they don't drop, like, a... Because I'm assuming he's ramping into a large-ish thing. Chair is making all kinds of noise. Whoa. Stratus walk. That's potentially the worst thing you could have put on that. You're going to copy the Arescos. I don't know about that play, bro. But I don't know about what I'm planning either. Um, blue means they can bounce our stuff easily. If they bounce our stuff, though, I don't know. Okay, so I would like the Feral Invocation, but not this turn. I would like one more mana, so I could God's Willing their Bounce spell. For now, I'm happy just brawling with this. I could add more aggression, but I want to stop making just, um, I guess, reckless plays into my opponent. Um, right now, I'm plenty happy with how this is going. We have a lot of life to gain. Um, we're kind of even with what's going on here. They're playing bad cards over there for the sake of mana fixing. Um, they're, they're getting in. They're untapping stuff. Yeah, I mean... Okay, so this is a, um, a decent card they've played. Okay, we got, we got that extra mana. Let's get in and see what they want to do. If they want to block, I'm, I'm down with that. They're not blocking. Let's put a thing on this. And we have backup. We have that God's Willing. And their life gain is a, is a bit irritating here. Let's see what they're going to do. They're opting to give all their creatures flying. This is interesting. Okay, so hopefully we get another land next turn so we can hook our guy up with a lot more life gain. Right now we're taking three damage because we're going to gain two life, but after that it's going to be a little bit... Um... Okay, that's awkward. Alright, so what do we want to do? Everything has flying, so this is not attacking. Uh, or rather not blocking. extremely awkward because um, I'm almost forced to make a dangerous play here um, by dangerous I mean I, I, I am thinking I need to tap out to either divine verdict a thing which could like say I allow them to attack into me I divine verdict this dropping this guy at that point he could pay three mana but if he doesn't he could just bounce this guy and get in anyway um so that would be the value play alternatively i could put hope flood on on this guy making him a five five that would take us up to 22 they would swing back taking us to 16 seven uh well possibly 15 depending on what they do uh, and they themselves would go to 13. So that seems bad as well. Everything seems a little sketchy here. Um, the worst play I could do, which could turn out to be good is play loyal pegasus and hope they don't understand the text on it um 
that could work out. I'm unsure. For now, I'm a fan of the hopeful Edelon play. Um, it was awkward to miss our land drop there, obviously. Like, I would be very confident doing whatever um, if we had God's Willing up, but at this point, I feel like I can't um, afford to leave that up. So we're about to see if we get two for one here while well, it's sort it's a pseudo two for one. Um, they could bounce this guy dropping feral invocation off and leaving us with a one one hopeful let Um and I believe that's what's no, that's not that's not at all what's happening. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So we got another land, and at this point, do we want to tap out for Nessian Asp? I don't know. Unsure about that. I believe I want to get in there and um, take one of their guys out with Divine Verdict. Uh, next turn, we could hit the Asp and hopefully blink. Or next turn, we could hit another land, I guess, and with any luck, blink their removal with our gods willing um because at this point the way we lose this game is them killing this guy man they're just adding so much stuff to the board it's upsetting all right i'm gonna go ahead and divine verdict this one um actually so this is the one that can't block. It does represent more damage though. We take 10, swing back. Represents a lot more damage. And it also kills our Asp. Yeah, let's do this. I like that. Now, the, the reason I was like wishy-washy on doing that was um, Flying all over the place. Please let me have a land. Thank you. Okay, he can't kill our guy. Blocking with a sable. That's probably a bad thing for him, I imagine. At this point, he does have an unblockable guy, but. It doesn't really matter, we're gaining the same amount of life, so it's a wash. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna start out by playing this. Because we have extra excess white devotion. I'm gonna get in with. We can threaten lethal here, that seems okay. I maybe should have waited to play this, but I wanted to, in case I opted to not attack with these. Um, could he have anything then that would win him the game next turn? I'm gaining five life to 18. 18 is a ton. Eight, I'm thinking if he has like the four to both creatures or something, does eight and seven, that's 15, that's not enough. Uh, I'm comfortable brawling with both these guys. No, I'm not. Because he could double block the snake and one for one trade me. Let's just get in with this. Yeah. I, I should have been intelligent and left up mana for the snake first. Um, but whatever. He's got things. He's untapping mana. Does he have Hippocamp? Yes. The hippo is in. Interesting. So let's see what happens here. Just that. Let's do pro green.
and I'm comfortable putting this on top. Nice play. I'm gonna give him a smiley play. Uh, thank, thank you. I'll just say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I I'm never certain if they're being sarcastic because obviously I knocked off my thing, but um, it gained me life and puts them still in a bad position. Yep. So at this point, what do I want to do? Do I want to make the snake monstrous get in? Like it's unlikely they have another hippocamp. So I'm, I'm fine at this point trading this guy. Um, None of these are strong enough to trade with anything. Let's... And maybe we should have just let that trade with this. In hindsight. I'm unsure. Let's get in. Ugh. God, this is all of a sudden become a horribly awkward situation. Okay, so our flyers don't block their flyers because our flyers don't fly. So, I don't feel that I can swing with the asp. Yeah, let's get in there. I would trade with the hippocamp. That's fine. Um. Oh. Oh, you didn't mean to do that. Let's go to our second main. Yeah. So at this point, I'm feeling like maybe not the best position. I don't know. We'll see though. Like, obviously, a top deck spear would probably just win us the game. Does not have flying. Yep, he's unblockable. We're kind of on a clock. If we got in with everything, they block um, the snake and one of these and one of these. We'd get one, two, three, four, five, six damage through. Seems reasonable to me. If they didn't block the snake, they'd die. Okay with that. Uh Is there a way they block where they don't die? God, this is sketchy. Five. This is ten. Like they have to block something that does that kills them, unless they have a thing. Ah, this is scary. That's not really that scary. I gained some life. Let's get in there. If they don't block the snake, um, I think they die anyway. I didn't. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Archetypes blocking there. 
Oh, I was going to say they got to block that, right? Okay, so they lose one guy. Um, I'm fine with getting in that amount of damage. That's one shy of lethal. Next com, or next uh, whatever. Main phase. Play this, gain some life. And we've won the game. Um, and that that's a really good example of a game where um, the Heliod actually just won the game for us. Uh, or the hopeful... Sorry, Heliod. And then Hopeful Edelon. Hopeful Edelon, this guy. Or girl. I don't I believe it's a girl. Um Yeah. I mean that was insane that game. We probably gained I don't know, what was it, twenty five life or something? Maybe I'm being I don't know, it's it was it was probably either twenty or twenty five, I'm thinking, but um maybe I'm off. Didn't really keep track of that. Uh, here, what would we want to bring in? I'm thinking maybe this, since they had so like they had the unblockable guy and a lot of just just ways to make things unblockable or have a lot of evasion. This allows us to swing in um, and make them really think about their their blocks, or maybe, I don't know, like, let them believe that they have things to do. This is also fine. I think I actually like this over Mortals Resolve in this matchup, because they were, will likely be bouncing our guys versus killing them, or making their guys unblockable to kill us. So I like I like this. So this is only to creatures, so that's maybe a little awkward. These guys are still good, still fine. Defend the hearth. Do we want this card in? We only have one guy that can block it all when he gets the uh, the one dude out. It's awkward, for sure. Um, I'm, I'm kind of comfortable playing both. You know what? He's he or she is on the play. Uh, let's do this one. Defend the hearth might be the correct choice for some reason I'm just feeling this one mostly because I've never played with it so um, I would not like to mulligan this hand seems sick ooh they got the sedge scorpion that does not affect us I believe we're down like way far on the, the time I'm just gonna kind of Play and speak if something gets on my mind, I guess. I should have played the forest there, but it's going fast. Yes. Good card. Better card. Um, interesting. I don't believe the said scorpion affects us, so I'm gonna kill the naiad. Didn't draw the forest we wanted for this turn, but... What are you going to do? Mm, that might have been a mistake on his part. I'm unsure. Uh, it's a whale of a time, man. 
Oh, it's a serpent. My mistake. Uh, interesting. I'm. We could do either reasonably. I'm just going with this. Uh, yeah. To the creature to prevent damage to creature or player to deal damage to this I was really concerned that was going to be oh well it was something that killed a guy whoopsie daisy Forced to block here. We're in a good spot. We won the match. Alright, and that happened. Let's see you for round two.